Honey bees are fascinating creatures for a number of reasons. Bees can detect human faces and recognize and build trust with us. They are the only insect that produces food eaten by man. Without bees, the world would really wouldn't look like the same as it does today. But do you know that honey bees are in fact excellent mathematicians as well? Scientists claim that this insect can calculate angles and comprehend the roundness of the earth. But there's a particular mathematical bee genius behind the most important aspect of honey bee lives. The hive. The hive is not only the bee's home, but the place where bees store their honey. If you examine any piece of honeycomb, you will see that it is constructed from tightly packed hexagonal six-sided cell. But why hexagonal? Why does honey bee not use any other shape like triangle, square, or even circle? To understand this, you need to think like a bee. Just like humans. Bees need a secure place for their entire colony to live. Similarly, they also need a place where the nectar can be stored and ripened suitably until it turns into honey. That means there needs to be some serious space efficiency in their hive. Suppose you are a bee architect and you start your honeycomb with a cell like this. A totally random shape, no equal sides, just a square. If you start this way, what will your next cell look like? Well, you don't want big gaps between cells. You want a structured diet. So the next cell will have to be customized to cling to the first like this. And the third cell once again will have to be designed to fit the first two. This method of constructing a honeycomb would require that the workers be work sequentially. One at a time. First making one cell, then fitting the next cell to that and so on. But you know, this will take a lot of time as each bee will be waiting for its turn to build a cell instead everybody working. For this, all the cells should have the same shape and size. Here, you may think shapes like sphere, triangle or square. A honeycomb built from sphere would have little space between each unit, creating gaps that would need extra wax for patching. So, you can see why a honeycomb built from spheres wouldn't be ideal. Pentagons, octagons also produce gaps in similar way. But if the shape is triangle or square or a hexagon, there would be no gaps. But out of these three, the hexagon is the shape with the smallest total parameter. And thus, it is a bit more compact than the other two structures. This is the reason why honeybee prefer hexagon over all the other shapes. This proves that honeybees are good mathematicians and are excellent in building architecture. Check out our video on area and perimeter for more detailed ideas on areas and perimeter. Hope you like this video. If you like it, do subscribe to our YouTube channel, Unleash Maths, for more such amazing videos. Thank you so much for watching.